Today lecture, I'm going to discuss what how to script entire database in Microsoft SQL Server. So first here, I'm going to select the database. So here you can see this uh, list of database are there: Adam, Jason, SysDB. So selecting the database Adam. Then after right click there, then you can go on the task. Then after here you can see generated script. Click on there, generated script. After that, uh, you can get uh, this list of information and uh, after that you need to click on this next so by default it's uh, selected this one so escape entire database schema all object and if you want to select the manual so by selecting this one you can select only tables and uh, here if you don't want uh, this uh, tables then you can also uh, do that so first here i'm going to select this option so escape entire everything then click on this next and uh, there you can get a list of uh, options out there so you can uh, uh, save this on the not notebook so this is the extension escape.ipynb okay so uh, this uh, extension that will uh, save the files the name is escape and this extension if you want then you can change so let's click on this next and next uh, thereafter it's uh, generating and in, this is in the progress generating the list of object and this all succeed and after that click on this for finish so when you click on this finish so uh, there just uh, i generated the one script inside the document this one okay so the file type is now i p y n b now after that uh, let's uh, generate the script once again so right click on there then after task and or uh, generate a script so this time so going to generate the script so so you can uh, use their save a script and or uh, this is the xl tabs so if their file is so uh, or uh, exit then that will do the overwrite and one script per file so this is fine and thereafter click on next next uh, then this is the generating then click on this finish then after here you can see another file that created the type is SQL tar. Okay, so if I double click there, then you can see there is so uh, uh, this all script that to uh, come there. This all those things. Okay, so I'm just going to close that. Then after let's click to uh, right click on this database once again task. Then uh, here generate script. So click on this next. So this time I'm going to select uh, this option, select specifies. So selecting uh, only tables there. So I don't want uh, this uh, all tables because uh, this is not required. And after that, click on this next. And you can select uh, any of this. And this file, this already exit. Okay. So there I'm giving, giving the unique name of the file. So let's give here. Uh, the name is table. Then after table.sql that's fine and uh, click on this next and next then after it's uh, generating and this list of files that's uh, come there if you want then you can save the report and uh, uh, if you want then you can open that so here this list uh, uh, skip that generated and uh, now you can see create table this all uh, and uh, here this all those things so all table related primary key, point key, and all the details that's come there. Okay, so this is how we can uh, generate the script so inside entire database in Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.